I just love a good um, time travel movie like Back to the Future or or the popular series over here in, uh, in Britain, uh, Doctor Who. Right? Um, the drama and suspense, the mind-bending multiverse jargon of the space-time continuum to befuddle the masses and, and keep the boffins chuckling in their mint-flavored tea. <laughs> and, and I know this is science fiction, but something always leaves me more befuddled than most people. Like, if you had the power to travel through time, why wouldn't you, you use that rewind button every time something did not go your way? This is why it seems to me science fiction actually follows um, science fact because in the real world we cannot really control time we, we can't push the rewind button or slow things down time just goes on ticking so whenever I hear the words time management you know, I chuckle in my tea because I know it is not it is not possible not not even in the movies in the movies the mo the heroes are always about to run out of time uh, and entrepreneurs get caught in this trap too they they're balancing back and forth between their tech gadgets and answering questions and fielding calls reading emails and and they think they're the master of productivity when the fact is that they're master of destruction i mean i love kind of teaching this because I, I see a huge difference in in my clients once they change those multitasking habits you know, I feel like the the words productive and multitasking should not really appear in the same sentence I mean, in fact researching shows that switching tasks like like this leads to time losses of up to 40 percent you can hire all the consultants you want to find out where you're getting your time losses but 40% of them in your life are right here in the multitasking. Just, just to put that in perspective, think about what people could do with that extra 15 to 20 hours or whatever a week if they could just regain their time that they're using up being a serial multitasker. I, call, I mean, that's what I call it. They, they can beat that habit and regain so much more time. Um, I thought I could go over maybe some of my favorite tips, my favorite productivity tips and and help help you break that multitasking habit and really get down to producing full time so an important thing I think for people to remember that most people don't realize is because I, mean, I love the science of the brain and and to know that the human brain is capable of staying intently focused on a single task for up to two hours two hours at a time I mean imagine if you could take advantage of those two hour chunks of time then you can produce at peak performance and every time you allow a phone call or email or any kind of outside interference, you, you drift off into social media. Anytime you allow anything like that to impose on your time, your brain can take up to 15 minutes to refocus. Okay, you grab three or four or of or 15 minute segments out of that two chunk, and you know, wow, that really, you know, it really just nails your productivity. It puts the nail on the coffin to your productivity. You know, I say it's like that, um, the stop and go technique, like taking your foot off the, the accelerator and, and putting your foot back on, taking your foot back off and, and doing that. You waste a lot of gas. You're, not, you're never going to get up to full speed and it takes a lot longer to get to your destination. A two hour trip turns into a three hour trip, but a 30 year time, you know, over 30 years, I mean, you can imagine how much time is wasted. So, you know, I tell people to definitely chunk their time to assign different tasks to different day parts and try to stay as consistent with, with those as possible. For, for example, you make, if you make sales calls, say, three times a week, to try and put that in your calendar in the same time, every day, every week, you know, chunk your tasks into categories and then place those categories on your calendar and then set a timer set a timer to those tasks and shut out all different distractions all all the other distractions that and so you can allow that two hour chunk of time without interruptions and distractions you know I know it's easier said than done but you can break the habit and you can start allowing your brain to focus it's it's actually going to make your brain more alert and ready to do the job so what I've um, done in working with some entrepreneurs is I'm convinced that they would have a, a maximum of say three to five tasks on their on you know at play at any given time so this means you can take 
the other ones and you can literally put them to a side to the side you don't need to address them like right now and you can then zero in on those three to five tasks on a typical day and you can nail them you can you can get those tasks done and then move on to the next you know two or three three to five tasks so when you do that you'll find that you'll you'll knock down those tasks at least two to three times faster than if you're trying to run all of them in parallel at the same time you know and I see it over and over again the, the people the people I work with so I mean well the other day so I was listening to a psychiatrist and he was talking about the brain function but he was actually saying that if you write things down uh, well he was speaking especially like specifically about negative thinking in this instance but he said if you write things down um, like tasks and, and projects if you actually write them down to get them out of your head your brain can dissociate from them so you don't feel like your brain is one big whopping mind map of stuff just constantly floating around and I think this is great because you put your tasks, you put some on the back burner um, by actually writing them down, you know, getting your ideas and your projects out of your head for a little while. It, it just takes the pressure off. And some of my clients will say, okay, their employees or their clients need them. And I'll just tell them, well, no, you know, okay, they, they might need you to a, a certain extent, but nobody needs to be gotten back to within three minutes unless it's really and truly is an urgent situation so you have to teach your employees what's urgent I always say um, that we can teach people how to treat us so if you teach your employees what's urgent and what is not and empower your employees to be self-sustaining if you can the, those are some really really important things to remember for productivity so in the real world time travel may not be possible but you can definitely suck more hours out of your day to to be more productive